All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. First, uh, good morning for those who have morning, and good evening for those who have evening. May the Lord bless your day and your evening, wherever you are. Today, there's nothing really much in you except some comedy, as usual. You know, when always the Muslims, they say to us that Allah is all-knowing. Is the Muslims really knowing that Allah is all-knowing or just because Allah and the Quran, he said that he is all-knowing? So we say he is all-knowing. As an example, if I say now I am all-knowing, is that mean I am all-knowing? How we can prove, if I'm a Muslim, God forbid, how I can prove to the Christians that Allah is all-knowing. I'm going to open my Skype to give a chance for the Muslims to call us because later we will say that Allah is not only all-knowing, He is all-ignorant. I'm not insulting her. This is the truth. Who is a Muslim would like to call us life and prove to us that Allah is not all-knowing, not all-ignorant? Actually, nobody can beat Allah in his ignorance. I mean, this guy, he can get uh, uh, the whole world agree that Allah is the most ignorant ever. But as you see in the Quran, it says, and he knower of all things. Who is a Muslim in the chat? He agree with that, that Allah is knower of all things. If you agree, how? Look like going early in the morning is not a good time. I don't see many people here. But anyway, I do my duty. It doesn't matter really how many people are here. Even if we are 10 people, you know, God is good. The video of Adnan Rashid. There is no Adnan Rashid. There's not a debater. Those guys are a bunch of kids. They copy verses from the internet and they print them and then they read them for you on the table. What my end? You know, stupid. I mean, everything there is stupid, silly. And the Muslim, they cannot stand their own logic. Here we go. Who is a Muslim when I call me and use his logic? He promised me that he will use his logic, the same logic to question the Bible, to use it in the Quran. They will not accept. You know, they are kids. You see, when we speak about people who claim to be scholars, a scholar, he do not need a paper. A scholar, especially if he's a scholar in his religion. I mean, okay, I understand. Maybe I'm talking about different religion. But those people are just copy-paste. They cannot even quote a verse in the Quran correctly. They cannot quote a verse in the Bible correctly. Or what they have is just a print from the internet and they go on the table and read it for you. This is why they are not willing to take a challenge, open debate, live debate like now. Any, you know, because people, they can call me right now. I don't know what they will say to me. This is a big challenge. You know what I mean? This is a very big challenge to say, hey, who want to call me? And not only that, Christian Prince, he don't only say who want to call me, he say only Muslims can call me. Is that correct, guys? Is that true? Is that what the Christian always, Christian Prince, he says? Only Muslims can call me. You know, the Muslims, they open their phone only for Muslims to call them. And if they have somebody will ask questions, he is going to be a Muslim, he play Christian. To be sure, he will not really. <laughs> We don't do that because we are sure of our belief and we are sure of our book and they have nothing. Anyway, we don't want to change our topic. Watch the video which made a few hours ago and love. He who created for you all that is on earth. How we can confirm that he is the one and how Allah is the one who created all things yet he say he. He who. <laughs> Who 
Allah is saying that Allah He created everything. Imagine Christian Prince him, he called himself a he. I, I obviously I have to, to see a doctor because I have double uh, personality. I think I am he, not I am I. So who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us that Allah is all knowing? Anyone? Who want to do that? I don't know if you noticed when I started the broadcast, uh, you guys, you saw an image of a whale, right? Beautiful creature. And I love the ocean, actually. The ocean presents a little, little, little of the power of God. But there is a reason for me to put this whale in the screen. Any Muslim can tell us why? When Allah mentioned the authority or power, mentioned himself in a second person. Oh, here we go. Muhammad Qasim saying to you, Allah, he mentioned himself as a second person, but he cannot tell us why. Why Allah is a second person? He speak to himself in the mirror. I mean, he is sitting alone. Nobody can see him. Nobody can hear him. Yet he is saying to himself, it is he who created the whole world for you. How is that? Why he is speaking about himself as a second person, as you said. He have wrong grammar. He don't speak good Arabic. He is short of words. How he became he, Mr. Muhammad. Any Muslim? And the one who created for us the whole world, how come he do not know? Simple things how they are created. Like as an example, he don't remember which one he created first. The stars or the trees. Hey Muhammad, which one Allah created first? The stars or the trees? Guys, what do you think Muhammad will say? Muhammad, now he played deaf. He, he did not hear me. Muhammad, Allah is the one who speak about himself as a second person. And yet he do not know which one he created first. Actually, he knew, but he's confused. Which one Allah created first, the stars or the trees? Are you there, Muhammad? Are you searching Prophet Google peace upon him? Which one Allah created first? I mean, the question is very simple. If you go in the book of Genesis, everything is in order. It says clearly what God he did. In, the, in Islam, which one Allah he created first? The trees or the stars? Very simple. Huh? Our friend Muhammad, he says he have no idea. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Come on, Muhammad. You are just trying to avoid that your God will be humiliated if you say whatever you say. You know that if you say whatever you say is going to be horrible. <laughs> And the whole idea then I play I played now I let let me play dumb. Let me play dumb. I, I, I have no idea. A Muslim he spent his life supposedly, you know, as a Muslim, and then he don't and suddenly he have no idea. Allah is all knowing. Simple question which one Allah created first? Well the Quran says, How come you do not know? How come you do not? What happened? You are suffering from memory loose like Allah too. Hmm? Uh, what? 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 Hold on. This text is flying. I cannot even choose his text. Does don't know? Does not matter? It's not the creed. What creed? What is that? Since when? If it doesn't matter, you are. In, see, guys, this guy is insulting his God because if it doesn't matter, so why Allah? For him, it matter, and he mentioned it in the Quran. See, guys, how Muslims they make fun of their God, the All Knowing. It doesn't matter. So why Allah mentioned it? He mentioned it because it doesn't matter, or he mentioned it because it does matter. <laughs> what a comedy answers! You know what, uh, Muhammad? 
I think Muslims once a time will come and they will accuse me that you and Abbas and those Muslim kids they get paid by me to make Islam look stupid just wait many Muslims who debated me later the Muslims I cannot say call it a debate really I mean having a conversation with me the Muslims they accuse them later that I paid them to make Islam look stupid do you know the guy his name is Muhammad uh, Hashim Hashim Husseini the head of the Islamic uh, Shia in USA go and watch my debate with him in Arabic he will die laughing all the comment down there it says I paid him and we paid him to make Islam look stupid look at this it is not a major thing he mentioned to the point his creation and amazing nature of I mean look at him you're insulting your God I just said if it's not important then why Allah he mentioned it Correct, guys. If it's not important, then why Allah He mentioned the details of how He made it? If it's not important, look like you are saying the Quran is not important because this is the word of your God, and you are saying to me, those words of my God, they are not important. Based on this verse, what Allah created first. Any Muslim want to help us? Who want to help us? This is a Quran. This is not Christian prince making things. This is not a Christian from Indonesia. This is not a Christian, uh, you know, in uh, whatever. This is you. This is Allah talking. What it says? Which one Allah he finished first? I mean, isn't it obvious? How come you don't have an answer now, Muhammad? You say, you know, I really feel sorry for the Muhammadan. I really love them, and I really care for their salvation. This is why I'm giving more of my time as much as I can. Because, you know, it's sad. It's sad, really, any human being to believe in such a stupid book. This is the most stupid book ever. I mean, even the word is stupid is an insult to stupidity. Who want to prove me wrong? Do you want to call me Muhammad? Or maybe we can get some ustaz from Indonesia to call us. <laughs> Ustad, <laughs> what a title! What a title! You know, one of the things about false people, they love to give themselves titles, all of them, because they are in love with titles. Because that title is like a you know, it's like a veil will cover their shame. So they try to fool you with the title. In order not to question, Ustad, Prophet, just say I'm a prophet. Who did it? He's a prophet. What are you talking about? Like once I, I met a, a full person, and she started telling me about a prophet. He want to do a lecturer. She is inviting me to come, and I said, "What this guy he prophesy about?" I said, "Oh, he uh, is a prophet." I said, I, "I get it. I get it. He's a prophet. He prophesy about what?" Uh, he's a prophet. I got that. He is a prophet. I got it. Hmm. I am a prophet. I will prophesy something nobody knows. Let me prophesy. I don't know if I should share this information with all of you. Uh, but uh, I think I need to prophesy. What is the local time in Jakarta? Okay, this is Google. And Google here, he pray Jibril for me. 
it is 9 44 a.m i will prophesy after one minute it's going to be 9 45 a.m what is the prophecy of your prophet muhammad he prophesied what is the local time of jakarta even this one he feel he think the earth is a flat and all the earth have one time zone Hmm? You guys, I wasn't asking you. I was asking my Google because Google here played Jibril. I told you, this is my Jibril. Muhammad, do Allah come down every night at the third part of the night? Allah is all knowing, right? And Muhammad, he been informed about what Allah do. For sure, is Muhammad not making things up? Is it true that Allah He come every night at the third part of the night? What do you say? What is that time? Allah is all knowing. Allah do not know that when it is night somewhere, it is morning somewhere. He think all of us we have one time and Allah come down at the third part of the night. You see it? Because if Allah knew that there is nothing it's called third part of the night other because uh, that's mean Allah he will keep coming up and coming down. He cannot even leave because we have many third part third part of the night around the earth. What does that mean? Any Muslim? Uh, the lowest heaven is where the stars are located. Have you ever heard of a God? He think the stars are located in the lowest heaven. <laughs> That's a good question. Thank you for asking the brother. You get a point. The brother the asking question. He get a point. We did the do with heaven. I will show you where is the lower heaven. The lower heaven is where the stars are located. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> where is the lower heaven? Any Muslim can tell us? Is the Quran wrong or it's stupid or what? I mean, what is that? Look at those verses, all of them. Who agree with Allah that the stars are located in the lower heaven? And those stars are made for two reasons. Anyone remember what are they? What is the purpose of those stars? Look at this. Science. This is a pure science. And verily we have beautified the word heaven with lamps. By the way, this is false translation. It says the lowest heaven, not the word heaven. Change the translator. You will see the translation change. Everything changed. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation. Just change the translator, the whole meaning changed. There's a huge difference between the word sky and the lowest sky. Big difference. So the lowest heaven, heaven means sky, by the way. Wood lamps. Okay. So Allah, he beautified. So what the purpose of this? To beautify it, to make the sky beautiful, and what else? So he can shoot the the shaitan in his ass with missiles by by the stars. <laughs> I 
Allah is all knowing. I mean, isn't it obvious Allah is all knowing? Okay, where, where is shaitan he live, Muhammad? Hey, Muslims, where is shaitan live? Shaitan he live in the earth, he cannot even go out of the earth. So Allah, in order to kill the shaitan or to chase him, he shoot him by a star, star, lamps. Do you know how big the star is? Why the title in Basha? Why not? I'm free. I put it in any title I wish. What's wrong? Do you have a problem? Anyone agree with this? Uh, here we go. See, some people like the title. Why you don't like it? I mean, well, hello. Okay. So, Shaitan, what? Shaitan can go out of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> No, he cannot. Don't you know that Allah, he made a challenge to shayateen to go out of the earth and he said to them, you cannot. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. This is the funny thing about the Muslims. They know nothing about their book. They know nothing about their book. Hmm? This is your God challenging the mankind and the genie to go out of the region of the earth. Where is that? The lowest heaven belongs to the earth. You cannot go out of the earth. Mankind and genie and mankind went already to the moon and other places so Allah proven to be false Allah is all-knowing do you see how Allah is all-knowing Allah is a challenging the genie something we do not see we never I don't what what is the genie most time they believe that by the way just a cor correction for many people believe mistakenly especially some Christian priests because they are ignorant they teach that genie is a demon. Muslim do not believe in demon and they don't have anything to do with that. Genie is not a demon. Demon is a spirit. Genie is not a spirit. As you see, Allah, he can shoot him by a star. Genie is a physical being and he is a transformer according to Muhammad, which means he can come to you as a dog, he can come to you as a bird, and even he can come to you as a man or even as an angel. As an example, Muhammad, he receives satanic verses from a genie. He is called Al Abiyad. Why they call him Al Abiyad? Because simply he changed his look to look like Jibreel, and he came to Muhammad. Any Muslim have a comment? <clears throat> so when Mr. Muhammad says that Shaitan cannot go, out, uh, he can go out of the earth, that is a proof of ignorance, my friend. But it's okay. I mean, we are here to, to, to learn. Allah is challenging mankind and genie not to go. And not only that, the same verse says, if you try to go out, Allah will shoot your ass with the stars. Do you see it? Uh, no, my friend, when your prophet he came, according to your prophet, he says that the heaven is locked and no genie can pass. Before that, they used to steal information. Don't don't try, Muhammad. Don't try. You know, you are talking to Christian Prince. I mean, you don't talk, you're not talking to someone he's is a, like a guy in YouTube, blah, 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 you know, two words, and he, he will talk about them. You know you are talking to. I mean, come on, by now you should know, right? Isn't it the Quran says that the genie they used to spy at Allah? But after Allah, he sent Muhammad, 
the heaven is locked and this is why Allah in the other verse saying try try to go out of the zone of the earth so since Muhammad he came shaitan cannot go out and you can open any interpretation and read and love after Muhammad announced himself as a prophet Muhammad he claimed that nobody after that he can go to heaven and steal information from Allah <laughs> Unbelievable, <laughs> hey brother. Before uh, Muhammad is the is the, is the uh, firewall of security for Allah. Before that, Allah don't care. You are a shaitan. You can come and steal information, brother. It's okay. But since Allah. Saint Muhammad that said the door of theft is a close nobody can spy at Allah no <laughs> okay uh, let us let us find the hadith about that I remember a hadith which is very funny there's many of them actually but there is some of them they are they exceed another in stupidity let us see I heard Allah Apostle saying the angels descend the cloud and mention this or that matter decreed in heaven the devils listen steal such a matter and come down to inspire <laughs> they inspire who the fortune tellers <laughs> unbelievable mm. Mm. but then since muhammad came They cannot do that no more. Is that true, Muhammad, or I'm making things up? Hmm? Who is a Muslim want to say something to us? Is it true that uh, the angels and uh, sorry the genies they used to steal information and since Muhammad he came they cannot why how come Allah before he allow people to spy at him but before that the you know I mean before it was okay after Muhammad that's it what is this story is in front of us Look at this. All of it is fiction stories. I mean, in this stupid story. Any Muslim have anything to say? There's a hadith, I will try to find it for you. Let us see if we can find it in English. Because it's very easy to find anything in Arabic. But, uh, you know, in English is a different story. Any, uh, any Muslim have anything to say?
Is it true really what is written in the Quran? I mean, is that a God who is all-knowing? He shoot both shaitan and the human being if they try to go out of the zone of the earth. Did Allah give a permission to the Soviet Union to go out of the zone of the earth, the communist? And then did he give after that to the Christian in Russia? And then did he give a permission to the Hindus, the Indian? Or to the Japanese? Or to the American? Well, Allah is all-knowing. Anyone? <clears throat> and the funny, the you know, after after Allah He sent Muhammad, the genie on Shayateen they try to spy at Allah. But they cannot because Allah He guarded the sky very well now. Before Allah, before Muhammad, He don't care. After Muhammad, suddenly He care. Now, still, I did not really mention why I have the picture of the wheel. Anyone want to inspire me? What is the reason I have the wheel image here? Who is a Muslim want to help us? What what this wheel is about? It is a connection between wheel and Allah. And remember, Allah is all knowing. Any Muslim know? Actually, I'm not planning to make this video long. Otherwise, the comedy will continue forever. I just wanted to say good morning, everybody, and good evening. At the same time, just to laugh a little bit. When the news of the arrival of the Prophet to Medina reached Abdullah ibn Salam, he went to him and asked him certain things. Okay. He said to him, I'm going to ask you, about the three things which only a prophet can answer what what word only a prophet can answer anyone notice that the start is stupid anyone notice how stupid the start who notice here how stupid this statement is? Who of you notice it really? What, what is the stupid thing about the question? The start is stupid. Ex extremely stupid. I mean, the one who came with the story, not only he have a low IQ, he don't have IQ at all. No, no, it's not a prophet asking question. Yeah, I, I think I got what you meant, what I tried to say. If nobody knows this Correct, this guy actually, he was right. If he, uh, uh, if nobody knows the answer for this, except a prophet, well, the guy who is asking the question, he must be a prophet too. Where is where is the guy who said that? Uh, post your uh, your text again. You deserve to put your name in the screen. The one who says, the one is asking is a prophet. Is that you? Or this is a different person. Who is the one who said the one is asking is the prophet? The text jump, I cannot find him. If this is the correct person, I'm not sure. If nobody knows the answer, but this guy, he knew the answer, that's mean he is a prophet too. Are you getting my point, guys? This is a, this is not only a low Q, IQ. This is a person who have no IQ making the story up.
Muhammad is texting me. Hmm. Muhammad Qasim, he gave me an answer, guys. This is his answer. Just now he posted to me. He said he cannot call me. Okay, why you don't post it there? Allah allowed the jinns before to go to heaven and listen as a test, etc. Test to who? <laughs> test to his security system. <laughs> but when the Prophet Muhammad came he wanted to give them a message that something special has happened if, 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 if. so guys Allah for centuries and centuries in centuries he have his fence and his doors loose shaitan go up as he wish but now Allah he decided to give him a special message you cannot do that no more because Muhammad is here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Muhammad Qasim. Not only you are ignorant, it is the one who gave you the answer. Is Because you are copying it from websites, I know. But you forgot that Allah, he says to Shaitan, get out of it. Out of it what? Heaven. The heaven, shaitan is forbidden to come to it. Shaitan cannot get into the heaven. He's already kicked out. Since the time of Adam and Eve, what do you mean in the time of Muhammad? Since the time of Adam and Eve, Allah, he says to both, get out of it. So Adam cannot go to heaven, Shaitan cannot go to heaven. You see how you just approve that Allah is false God? How Allah, he says, get out of it. And not only get out, actually, it says get down. Not only get out. And this is all over the Quran. Do you see it, guys? This is the Quran. This has happened when? In the time of Adam. So the fabrication Muhammad he came with, and you must then believe in those fiction stories, is obviously stupid. Because either Allah, he says to him, get down, or he's still up, and he can go up. So since Allah, he says to shaitan, get down, then shaitan, he must be down. So are you saying to me, Muslims, after Allah, he said to shaitan, get down, shaitan, still he can go up? You see, Muhammad, those those answers they can work with that with someone like you. They can work with somebody else, like some American Indonesian who do not know this cult. You, you know that I know I know about your cult more than your prophet himself, including your God. Oh, Muhammad is calling with the headphone. Hold on. Yes, Muhammad, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I just want to touch on this topic. Okay. Um, so I just want to speak a bit about this topic. So the so you said the the Iblis, Iblis were kicked out of uh, Hellfire. Hmm. Uh, he was kicked out of Jannah. So, um, but that was Iblis. We're talking about Shaitan. Shaitan. They multiple Shaitan. So uh -huh. Iblis is we're not saying, we're not saying Iblis went in the heaven and listened. We're saying that it's, okay. Let uh, me ask you how, how shaitan became mini shaitan. What happened? Um, yeah, basically, the jinns. So, they got um, he's, obviously, the Iblis, he's got a family as well. He had a family. Uh, what does that mean? Yeah, they can have kids. He have kids like the jinns, the devils can have kids on one. Okay, does that mean he had sex with a wife, something like that? 
um, I don't know how they create it, but they have kids. Mm. I don't know how. It works. So don't you see there is a contradiction? You, because you just say there is only one shaitan. Did Allah kick with him a female like Adam and Eve? Allah, He kicked Adam and Eve from heaven, correct? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So did Allah kick shaitan and female shaitan with him, or shaitan only? <laughs> You see, you see, the iblis is a jinn. So shaitan means that a, a person who's uh, away from the mercy of Allah and he, a person who is basically banished. So shaitan is a title kind of thing. My friend, no problem. But so but but Allah, he kicked who who he kicked from heaven. He kicked only one shaitan, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful. How shaitan he get down to earth? He's alone. He did not kick with him mm -hmm. any female. Did he kick with him out a female? No, no, because uh, there was already females, or uh, uh, like female jinns and uh, on earth already. Really? Who? Yeah, where, where, okay, where you get this from? Give me the verse. I want to learn from you. Um, we see. Um, we see, for example, in Surah Baqarah, Allah says that uh, mm. the angels, the question of Allah, and they said, well, why are you going to create uh, a creation that's going to mm. make bloodshed? Okay. So from this, you can deduce um, that there was already a creation on earth that mm. was, um, uh, you know, the, the cause chaos. Well, and this, plus, is Allah said, this is a belief no, taken no, no, from no, the no, no, This no, is no. a belief taken from the Sabian belief that there is a there is people before and then God, he punished them, destroyed them and he replaced them with a man. This is Sabi and believe. However, that will not change anything because he is. He, you just said that Allah, He is going to create a caliphate. Caliphate for what? For what is in the earth? Correct. Yeah. yeah. That's so that's another reason. There. So nothing. That's mean there's nobody in the in the earth. That's it. He's the only one. No, he, he believes so he's going to be a Khalifa. So what, what was he going to be? No, a my friend. What Khalif? What Iblis? What's wrong with you? It is Adam. No, Iblis was jealous, and uh, that's why he didn't bother. No, uh, no, Iblis had nothing to do with the story, and this is story proving that Muhammad is not really a smart person because here it says that the angels they say to Jibri to, to Allah, Are you going to create a caliphate? They are talking about who, Shaitan or, or Adam? Who was Allah going uh, to create in this moment? He was creating uh, Adam as a Khalifa. Okay. So, uh, one was, so, uh, so, so Adam, Adam is the caliphate, is not Shaitan, but a second ago you said Shaitan. No, no, I said the Shaitan wanted that position. He oh, wanted where that it position. Says that, where you, got, where you get this information from? Prove it to me. Go ahead. You know what? I will shave, my, I will shave my 20 foot beard if this is the, 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 the uh, true story. Go ahead. Well, show me here. We've got a story in front of you. Uh, Shaitan actually, he did not do anything. Shaitan, he did not complain about creating a caliphate. He complained about bowing down to Adam. No, there's a hadith where he says that he's seen Adam in a form and uh, he started, uh, you know, friend, basically. Are you saying the hadith making the Quran look stupid? Because the Quran says that angels, they complain and they claim that Adam will do bloodshed. So Allah wanted to prove them wrong. So he taught Adam all the names, as you see in the front of you, chapter 2, verse number 31. And then he placed the things in the front of the angels. And he said to the angels, okay, tell me, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Which means Allah is accusing the angels to be a bunch of liars, correct? No, 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 he's not, he's not accusing If that, I say to you, point. okay, if I, I just say to you, show me the proof if you are a truthful. What does that mean? It's not accusing you of lying. When I say if you are a truthful. What does that mean? If you are not lying, uh, correct? No, because they can make an error in their understanding. My friend, so my, mistake, friend my friend, the Arabic, the they, Arabic uh, is very clear. In kuntum sadiqin, if you are telling the truth, that means they are not telling the truth. Yes or no? Is the angels telling the truth? What I'm saying is that in the... My friend, uh, the, let's make it simple. No, no, one by one. Is the angels telling the truth when they say that to Allah? Yes or no? They were thinking about the this is not the question. Wow. You see, you Muslims you play games and you cannot be honest for a second. Be honest with yourself. Come on, you are a man, you are not a kid. Did they tell the truth when they said what they said to Allah? What was it a truth or it was not? What did they say? They said to him, Are you going to create someone who would do bloodshed? They were telling the question. truth by saying I mean, that it's, it's, statement. Especially. 
I mean, that statement, this question is, they want to make, they want to really make no, the question is, is No, the question about, are you going to create a person who will do bloodshed, which means they are saying he will, but the question is, are you going to do that? They are questioning his decision. So Allah is saying, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Truthful about what? Uh, I don't know what truthful <laughs> about the bloodshed. And then look what Allah he did. Look how funny your God is with my, you know, I, li I like your God, by the way. Look at this. He said, uh, he taught Adam all the names. And then he please he showed them the, to the angels name of what name of things and he told them will inform me the names of these those things if you are truthful what would this have to do with this with the with, with the truthful <laughs> you know so, so Allah, Allah, Muhammad, yeah, Allah Muhammad who is the one who is the one who named you Muhammad is that your dad or your mom what? who is the one who named you Muhammad in the family your your father or your mother who's the one that needs me no, no, no. He named you, named you. He gave you the name Muhammad. Your name is Muhammad, right? All right. Um, so, yeah, one of the parents, right? Okay. So, does that mean that your father, because he is the one who named you, his God? No. Okay. But Allah is doing the same. Allah, he named, let us say, you are, you are there. And then Allah, he named you Muhammad and he placed you in the front of the angel and he told them, hey, tell me the name of this guy if you are truthful. I give him a name. How that can prove that Allah is all-knowing and he is God? Because um, what happened was Allah taught the, taught them something that no one knew. So he taught them how to, like what the no name. Knew? Of Hold on. Okay, nobody no knew. One. Here we go. Your God, when he gave you a name, he did not tell anyone. He told, he told him knowledge basically. Uh, in, my friend, my friend, of listen, listen carefully. So listen amazing. carefully, Muhammad. You are not listening. If 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 your father he gave you a name and he did not tell your mom yet, okay. And then he said to your mom, "Tell me the name of this baby. I just gave him a name. Can you tell me the name?" So your mother she would say, "Nobody knows save you," and that means that he is God. But he is the one who gave yeah, the names it, to those things. I mean, what is the miracle here? This, I am the one yeah, who the gave the name to those things. So how that prove that I am God and they are not? I know and they don't. So no, Allah's teaching the angels that look. You might be thinking uh, they're gonna do X, Y, Z, but I'm creating them. Uh, my vision. That's why Allah says that you know, uh, you don't know what I know. What Meaning I know, that, what I know the uh, names. I know, I know, I know. You do not, not know what I know. I know the names. All, all what he did, he, no, no, he no, gave names. The names. Listen, listen, Allah listen, Allah listen, Allah. listen, listen. Okay, he knew what they know not, but how he knew. What about we make the question the opposite? What about he said to the angel, okay, bring some stuff, give them names and ask them about the names. Don't tell me the names. Make an exam. The exam should be in the opposite direction. So what Allah he did is very silly. So like now you're, you're, you're if, if, oh, if, if you have a, a Muhammad, if you have a cat and you call her Susu and then you ask a Christian prince, Christian prince, tell me the name of my cat if you are truthful. And then Christian prince, he open his eyes like what? No way, I cannot. I give up. And I start guessing uh, your cat, her name is uh, Dudu. You say no. Mumu, you say no. Oh, oh, you say no. And then I say, okay, I give up. You know best. And then you say to me, her name is Susu. And I told you I know better. And you do not know what I know. I mean, this is the most silly God ever. So Allah, he proved nah, that he knew more. And let me, example, okay, let me ask you, let me ask you, where the angels wrong? You see, the story is more than stupid. Where the angels wrong when they said that Adam would do mischief, man? They, they didn't say he's going to do mischief. No, he, they said that in front of you. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, one minute. Go on YouTube. Hmm. Uh, I'm in the Lord. So he says, uh, Will thou place there in one who will do harm there in and will shed blood? Hmm. So, what did he say they will do mischief or not? No, they're assuming that he will do it. Look, assuming no problem. So they say they will do mischief. Were they wrong or they were right? 
Did Adam do mischief, man? No, based on the previous experience, they thought he's going to do it. Um, <laughs> you see, Allah is angry from them because they said he will do mischief, man, but the angels are right and Allah is wrong. So the whole story here is a stupid because Allah wanted to prove that they are wrong and they are not being truthful about what? About accusing Adam to do mischief, man. This is the whole story. He said to them, tell me the names of those, these things, if you are no, truthful. No, no. No, you, what happened? What happened was um, Allah showing to them that He He's created Adam for Our a different friend. purpose. So okay, you, okay, uh, Muhammad, I don't know how smart you are, but I think I, th I think you are smart, but you are playing dumb. With my respect to you, listen. Here it says that they say to him, the only thing they said to him, "Are you going to create someone who would do mischief?" Man, correct? Allah said, "Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Truthful about what?" No, no, first Allah says, uh, he says, surely I know that which you do not know. And then Allah says, he told no Adam. Uh, know about what? Know about what they say, because they said Adam will do mischief, man. Correct? So Allah, he says to them, I know what you know not, which means the knowledge you have is wrong. My knowledge is right. He will not do mischief, man. But that, that's not, it doesn't say that though. It doesn't, it doesn't it say that. It says that. Uh, that. Not, it's in front of you. What's no, wrong with you? Allah, it says, okay, hold Allah on, hold on. That, Let us read the story. Let us read the story. Allah, Allah he just said, hold on. Allah, he just said, I'm going to create someone to inherit the earth. Correct? This is the only thing he said. The angel said, will you place their in? Somebody would do harm, achievement, and shed the blood. So what is, what, what they said? They didn't say anything. They did not say any obligation except he will do harm. He will do bad. He is bad. This is the only thing they said. What Allah he said to them. He said, well, surely I know which you know not. That's the answer of Allah. And then what he did a second, he taught Adam all the names and he placed the things in the front of, of them and he said to them, okay, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Truthful about what? About Adam will do mischief, man. And Adam did so, mischief, So let me man. respond. Actually, yeah, let me as respond, you please. see, in the same chapter, Allah, he kicked Adam out of heaven. <laughs> Okay, let me respond to this. So what what the angels did was, yeah, they they had a preconceived kind of notion that uh, they're going to do the same as the jinns have done or a different creation that have done. So so who, who, when they, who, so they wanted who? to know like why did I, uh, you know why are you creating someone who's going to uh, shed blood? So what Allah is showing them, Allah taught him, Allah taught Allah taught him, uh, Allah, Allah taught the names to Adam to hmm. show that um, Allah's going to um, Allah Allah knows like you know he's going to do something else like he's going to just explain to you what's wrong with you how Allah he knew if I call my TV and a name I will give a TV my TV a name do do and I say to you what is the name of my TV that to prove that I'm God I mean what's wrong with you uh, uh, Muhammad but no one Allah, is the one, this Allah is the one this who gave the names special. of those things so how that will prove that he is God you are walking no, with your dog and your dog his name is uh, uh, Juju and you I said to me uh, what is the name of my dog I say only God knows and then you say to me, that's mean I'm God because my dog name is Juju. You are the one who named him Juju. If you want to prove to me that you are God, what about you do the opposite? You say to no, me, no, firstly, he, yeah, bring, first, bring some stuff. No you, thing is, no, you see, in order to prove something, you say to me, bring some stuff, give it names and ask me without telling anyone what the names of those things. And then I will tell you to prove my knowledge. What happened is totally the opposite. Secondly, the angels, they were right. Adam did mischievement and Allah kicked him out of heaven. No, he, he didn't do mischievement. Okay, uh, let me ask you. Hold on, hold on. What did you do mischievement? What did you do mischievement? Did Allah kick him out from heaven? Yes or no? He, he just told him to go on earth. And, uh, My yeah. friend, did Allah kick Adam from heaven? Yes or no? Yeah, sent him down. Okay, so Allah, no, kick him out, not send him down. Did he kick, kick him out? It's not appropriate word. It's not appropriate. What word. is the proper word then? He he told him to he move sent out. Him down. Bring your hole and carry the stuff. Carry his furniture. He kicked him out, and he, he cursed. Sent him down. He, no, he he put a curse on him and on the shaitan, both of them. That's not curse. How's your curse? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This, uh, I mean, you, you you see, this is the problem. We don't we don't find Muslims who know their their books. All the Muslims are ignorant, including those who call themselves sheikhs. Here we go. And Shaitan caused them to deflect 
their form and expelled them from the state which they were in the heaven okay and then Allah he said to them fall down one of you fuel into the other it's a curse that both of you you will be enemy to each other no, no, no. it's a no, curse it's a curse it's a okay no 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 what is, this is a penalty for them both because they disobey him yes or no so yeah i would say maybe i'll say this is, well, isn't this is what curse yeah. is okay i will make this person an enemy to you it's a curse you will be enemy to each other allah he he allah he make them no, no, he, just, he doesn't say i'm gonna make he says one of you are fall onto another no he says that do, do you want to see the interpretation no not the interpretation okay so the are, you, are you saying to me that your prophet is a liar so why you get okay what's the interpretation is it from because the because isn't it allah who said that allah he made the shayateen your enemy he is the one who made them yes or no so allah told us that they are our enemies he told us this no he ordered them he appointed them to be your enemy yes or no um mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know you are talking to Christian Prince, right? Uh, Christian Princess? Princess, you wanna make you wanna insult now? <laughs> <laughs> so why you don't say you don't agree that you are stupid, you do not know your religion. Did Allah yes. appoint the shaitan to be an enemy even to your prophet? Yes or no? Um So, so who, is the, who is the princess here? Yeah, it is you or me. I know, I know. The, who is yeah, the princess? I know everyone here? has. Hmm? I know. I know everyone has a devil with them, but um, ah, uh, the appointing. Ah, ah, everyone here me. have a devil. Okay, who is the one appointed the devil with you? Allah points a Quran. So why you were lying um, a second ago? You said no. No, I said I don't know. No, you so said I, no. You yeah. said. Because, I don't because know, uh, when I, I said to you that Allah he cursed them and he made the shaitan an enemy to Adam, you said no. And as you see, who is the one who is shaitan working for? Read the verse for me. Go ahead, it's in front of you. Shaitan he worked for who? Um, those we have appointed unto every prophet and uh, adversary, devils of humankind and jinn hmm. who is by uh, one another okay who is the one appointed um, the shaitan so so I, yeah prophet? i don't know how this appointment takes place so it doesn't, what matter. Does it mean it doesn't matter when i say i appointed shaitan for you that's mean who is the one who hired shaitan to target me who is the you one can... who ordered shaitan to target me yeah i need to look into this a bit more don't tell me i need to look in it's very clear if it every time we get you in the corner muslim you said i need to read. is that a new game the same you did in the morning it's, and now you are doing the same no, of course, you need to look into no, it. No, listen, so, always um, when you are in the corner, as I noticed that this is the only way to escape the, 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 the stupidity of the book. Did Allah appoint it, Shaitan? It's very, even this one, you need to look at it. I mean, it's, it's very simple. I it says, appointed into every prophet a Shaitan. Yes or no? Um, I don't know how this point is. That's what I'm saying. Mm, you do not know. Okay, take care. See, you I might do. just create hey, that. That's hey, you know, just a kid. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I try my best really to speak to you with patience, but I don't have really more time to change diapers. Sorry. I mean, how how simple I can make it more than this? Uh, you choose to be stupid. This is your choice. Nobody can make you smart. Trust me. You can only make yourself smart. No Christian prince, nobody. I mean, isn't it, is it simple? Allah, he told the names to the angel, to the, to, to Adam, and he, this is how he proved that the angels are wrong. But later we find that the angels are right. <laughs> and then the Muslim, they say to us, Shaitan, Shaitan is bad, brother. Shaitan. But Shaitan is not that bad. Shaitan is sent by Allah. 
Shaitan is a good employee of Allah. He have full insurance. He have full salary. He full housing because simply he is an employee of Allah and the and the verse in the front of you. Shaitan and Allah, they are partners. They work together. And obviously Allah is the boss, which means Allah must be the devil. Because those shayateen, there's many of them. There's a boss. What's his name? Allah. What do you think, guys? Does it say what I'm saying? Yeah, Allah, he have a, he cover all the cost of shaitan. You know, you have insurance, not like me. I don't have insurance. You have a dentist. I don't have dentist. Uh, he have, uh, he, he pay for his gas. No, nobody pay for my gas. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 shaitan, he worked for Allah. Full time. And not only that, Muhammad, he confirmed that shaitan, he command him. Where Muhammad, he received commands? From Allah or from shaitan? From shaitan. Who said that? Muhammad. Is Muhammad lying? Read it. None amongst you who don't have attached to him, shaitan, devil. The companion, they said, would you too, prophet? He said, yes, but Allah, Allah helped me against him and he command me not, for, but to do good. Command me. Do you see the word command me? Muhammad, he received the good command of the good God. Allah supposedly from the good shaitan. <laughs> anyway, you know what? Let us go back to the fish. What happened to the fish? It's going to smell soon. I mean, the whale. The guy is waiting for us. Look, he cannot even put his tail down. Like all this time, he's waving for that. Like, come on, Christian friends. The guy, when I go down, he's waiting for you. I told the whale to stay in there just because we need to use the picture, you know? But the what is the story of this tale? So the guy, if we go back to the story, he said to him, three things nobody knows except the prophet, which means the one is asking the, pro the, the prophet about, about things nobody knows except the prophet. He must be a prophet too. This is how stupid the story is. And then he said, and guys, look at this, how deep this question. Look at this. What is the first food? Which the people of paradise will eat. If, 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 if. I mean, this is deep. This is a this is this is Discovery Channel, my friend. Like he asked him things nobody know. What is the first sandwich we will eat in heaven, brother? I'm really concerned, by the way. I want to know what is the first meal I will eat in heaven. I was confused, I thought a shrimp. Anyone have a shrimp for today? <laughs> what is the first meal which people of paradise will eat? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's oh boy. Thank God I'm healthy, otherwise I will die from laughing with a heart attack. What the heck is that? What is the heck? What what is that? Look look at the, look at this. Look what look what he said. You have Shaitan in Christianity who created the devil in the who created the devil. You see, you are being stupid. First of all, in Christianity, God did not create a devil. God created an angel, and then the angel he chose to de, to, to refuse God orders. So he chose to be a devilish person. This is how silly you are, my friend. You are just a kid. But the Quran saying that Allah, He is the one who hires Shaitan, and He is Shaitan to do the work of Allah. Our God, He did not say, "Go Shaitan and be Shaitan." I'm hiring you to do this work of Shaitan. No, He hired him to be an angel. This is what the Bible teach. And Shaitan in Christianity is not a genie, as Muhammad taught you. This is why we we have nothing to share. You have a stupid prophet saying stupid stories like this, and we have the amazing wisdom of Jesus Christ. I mean, look at this question. 
Look at the question and look at the answer. What the answer? What is the first food which the people of paradise will eat? Why? Why does the child attract similarity of his father or his mother? This is this is this is a serious question. Then the prophet replied, Jibreel has just now informed. <laughs> Uh, what I would do now, guys, ask me a question and I will tell you. Jibreel has now just now informed me, but by the way, the story is not really as it is, as you see it, because they asked him a question and they left home, they did not give him the question right away. And then Muhammad he says, Jibreel, now, 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 he answered me. Muhammad was searching in Google to find how he can get the answers. And then he came with the answers, which nobody knows except a prophet. Ibn Salam, he says, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews. Since when Jibreel is the enemy of the Jews? <laughs> oh boy, guys, I'm sweating. Oh boy, it's hot. Let me take off my shirt. I hate this. Stupid cult. Oh boy. And then the prophet said, As for this first sign of the hour, it will be the fire that we will collect the people from the east and the west. Fire will collect them from the east and the west. But this is total contradiction for the Quran, say all over the Quran. But this is not important for me now. As for the first meal, which people will eat in paradise, is going to be the liver of the whale. You see, translate here fish liver, it doesn't say that. It says the whale. A Muslim. He was watching, I think, my, uh, you know, my program. He went to the Islamic website. It's called Islamic Questions and Answer. And he asked them there about this fantasy, this madness. Let me show you the question and show you the answer. I don't know if the text is clear for you guys. Let me know, please. Question. Question number one six nine four nine one question why is the liver of the fish considered as the first food in heaven guys if you read the answer you will die laughing after writing all those things they come to a conclusion, Allah knows best. <laughs> uh, uh, well, this is this is very good, brother. Huh? We could not find anything to indicate the wisdom behind. The liver of the whale, you see, it's a whale liver, not fish, as they translate in English. There, uh, Abdul, you Abdul scholars are a bunch of idiots, you are not a scholar, and I will tell you why he chose the whale. Why he chose the whale, anyone knows who remember? I said that to you before, who remember why? Why the first meal is going to be the liver of the whale. Anyone remember? Hello. Wake up, Indonesia. Wake up. India, wake up. Philippines, wake up. Thailand, you see, we're making it now this time. So you guys in Asia, you can join us. Come on. Why? What is the reason behind the wheel? Why they will eat a wheel? Anyone? 
not the whale whale I mean the whale liver specifically sex actually wanna I see the answer actually coming yeah six for the six the Arab they believe for a long time that the one who eat what is inside the liver of the whale he will have an extreme sexual power this is why Muhammad he promised them that in the heaven they will eat amber an amber is something can be generated by either from the whale or from the deer this is how mad this cult is so Allah now is preparing them they are entering heaven what is in heaven women who have no panties I mean come on you want Allah to enter men into heaven and they have and their private part is not ready so the first meal will be the liver of the wheel because for long this is fiction this is not true they believe that if you eat the liver of the whale you get actually it's not the liver of the whale it's part of the liver let me see if I can find you a picture for that thing where we can find that this part of the of the liver do you see it actually no not this one hold on it is this one this one sorry do you see it if you eat this one you will be very good uh, in boom boom according to the Arab belief so Muhammad he come with this story isn't it this is enough to prove that Muhammad is foolish and remember the Muslim they cannot say oh he made a mistake because he said in the hadith just now Jibreel told me and by the way Allah will bring the liver of the of this the thing the part of the liver of the will in the heaven from where he will slaughter liver and he will get his uh... <laughs> but you know the drama is not over yet the comedy show is not over you know Muhammad he know everything I mean Muhammad is a doctor Muhammad the professor Muhammad you all the names fit for this guy and then as for the child okay if the man discharge proceeding this charge of the women the baby will be a boy <laughs> so and this is why by the way if I get married I don't want my son to look like me I look really horrible this is why I'm still single I mean each time I ask a girl to marry me she said like what there's no man left in this earth I look so scary I don't even have a mirror in my house true story by the way uh, uh, so if you have orgasm first the baby will look like you and I will never ever if I get married ever God forbid if I get married ever I will never have orgasm first. I don't want my son to look like me scary he will not forgive me for the rest of his life. He will keep saying, look at me. Look at me. I look like you. So I will make an agreement with my future wife. Says, listen, when we do, uh, you know, uh, boom, boom, you come first. That's deep. That's deep, brother. This is so good to be true. And this is how Muhammad proved to the guy that he is a prophet and the guy after that he converted to Islam the story said here that he converted to Islam he said I swear by Allah you must be a prophet <laughs> guys
guys i'm sweating more and more i took already my t-shirt what i will take more i mean come on muhammad stop doing that this is the proof that allah all and remember the muslim they cannot say muhammad he made a mistake he's lying obviously especially he said jibreel has just now informed me informed me so he cannot say this is muhammad guessing he made it is jibreel and who is jibreel he come this from from allah so when muhammad he say what he just said this is allah saying not not muhammad allah is all knowing as you see And this is how we prove that Allah is all-knowing. Any comment from Muhammadan? Those who worship Muhammad, they want to slaughter people for insulting the Prophet. Your Prophet is not even, he insults himself. We are not insulting him. He not even worth an insult. Look at this stupidity. Your prophet, he don't have not he don't have a low IQ. He don't have an IQ at all. Ah, uh, Shawan, you are right. The mirror crack when when it sees CP. Uh, hold on, Shawan. This is too much. Are you saying that the mirror she see me too? You are watching too much cartoon, my friend. Did you watch the movie? It's called Mirror Mirror. The mirror doesn't see me. The mirror reflect my image. <laughs> Come on, my friend. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Can you really believe that there is out there a billion human being believe in this garbage? Can you really believe in that? Can you really believe that there is people they are willing to die for the sake of this guy? It's hard to believe. Human being is the most stupid creature ever, not the smart one. He's not. Human being always approve that he can be by choice to be the most stupid creature. Uh, sorry, Eric. I take only calls from Muslims, and our topic is only about Islam. So I don't want to talk about prophecies, etc. It's not really my interest. <laughs> I know that many people they like to speak about those things, but you know, for me, I'm not really. I do not need to know prophecies, for I believe in Christ, and. Everything he said to me is what I need to know. The rest is not my interest. Right? I do not need to listen to anyone. No wisdom after his wisdom. No words after his words. And there is no one can enlighten me better than him. I do not need the prophecies. I am a believer. As you see, my friends, Islam is a very silly cult. Very silly. You have to be really silly to believe in such a thing. A guy claimed that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. How in the world we can believe in such a thing? How anyone can believe in it? We are in the year 2019. In a few months, we will be in 2020. Yet, we do not know really how the baby is made. Allah is all-knowing. How the one who comes first is the one who decides the baby will look like the father or the mother. What does this have to do with this? 
and how and what come first Muhammad is speaking that the women she have a sperm and the man have a sperm and that is appearing in the Quran chapter 86 verse number six and seven where he claimed that the gushing fluid coming from the location of the necklace of the women and gushing fluid coming from the backbone of the man but neither the man have a sperm coming from the backbone and the women she don't have a sperm Yet Muhammad saying, whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad, he knew nothing, therefore his God is a fake God? Allah, he named all things and he asked the angels what the name of those things. How silly. This is how you prove that you are God. And I'll bring a zucchini and I will call it zucchini and I will ask you what is the name of this thing? You start guessing banana. I say no mm, rabbit. No chicken. No watermelon. No, and then you give up. I give up and then I say to you it is zucchini and you say like whoa You must be God a Christian Prince. How you know it is zucchini? <laughs> <laughs> hey Joel, how are you? Uh, hello, my beloved Indian people. Actually, yesterday I was watching President Trump and the uh, Prime Minister of India. It was a nice thing. I hope that America and India will be always friends and support each other. So, my friend, it's very clear that Islam is a super stupid cult beyond stupidity. And we prove it here every day and what we share with you every day is nothing compared to what is there I always try to share what is simple using what is translated otherwise the garbage is a lot more but the most of it is in Arabic you see what is in English today is not even one to a billion of what is in Arabic an Islamic translation in English have nothing to do really with what is in Arabic that's why always we have to do our own translation So my friends, my family, my beloved people, we love the Muslims and we will never hate them. But we should hate the devil and his lies. What the Bible says, who is the father of all lies? Satan. That is Satan, my friend. The one is talking there, claiming that this is from God is Satan. He called himself Muhammad, he called himself Ahmad, he called himself 99 names. This is Satan. For the father of all lies is the devil. So this lie is coming from the devil directly to fool the fool. But God, he did not leave you alone. Always he sent people to you to help you. So you will not be left alone. This is why me and you, we are exist for a purpose. Adil al Katani, do you love me? I love. Why not? Jesus says, "Love your enemy." Why I will hate you, Mister Adil? Christians, did Jesus say, love your enemy? Yes or no? Am I lying or this is a verse in the Bible? So if I don't follow the teaching of Jesus, then why I consider myself a Christian? Maybe you are surprised because you are following a prophet of hate. But, okay, you can be surprised, but for us, this is what Christianity is about. You are following a liar, a thief, a child molester, a killer, a rapist, a hate teacher. So you are surprised. Sorry, Jackie, I cannot marry you. I do. I need to do a plastic surgery first. If you meet me in person, person, you will. You might. Uh, you might uh, jump from the sixth floor. <laughs> 
I will not marry you for your safety. <laughs> uh, you know, the most the most beautiful thing about a human being, he might have, might, is to have intelligence. When you have intelligence, and at the same time, you learn that you know nothing yet. It doesn't matter how much you know. You are a student of life and you are learning. You stay humble. You stay as a student. Keep learning. And never give up. And never use your intelligence to fool the fool. Use your intelligence to make the fool smarter. By doing that, you will be a servant of God. And that will make you beautiful, even if you look like me, which is very horrible. So my friend, it's a proven every day that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Who is a Muslim here really is convinced Muhammad is a prophet still after we showed you? I mean, it's enough what we showed you in the last 40 minutes that Muhammad is a, is a scam. Right? Yeah, fool the fool. You see, there's people they are. You see, the word fool is, is what? Is about somebody, somebody is ignorant. And that word, not necessarily, it is a negative thing. Not necessarily. And I will tell you why. Uh, if you ask me, let us say you are a person who is a scientist in the ocean. And I sit with you. And you ask me some questions about the whale. And then I say something which is wrong. For I heard it from somebody. That is foolish. So because you are a scientist and then people, they will believe and they trust what you say, you can fool me more and give me more foolish information to make me more fool than before. Or you can correct me and make me smarter. Do you understand? All of us, in a certain point, we are fool. You grow up, you learn. When you were a kid, if they put, when you are a baby, if they put for you in front of you a dirt, you will put it in your mouth. Is that correct? But isn't it, this is a foolish? So you start your life as a very fool creature, very fool. And then you start growing, fighting your foolishness. And then a human being, he grow, he grow, he grow, he became so wise. And then he start going back to be a fool again. And this has happened to many people when they grow up in very much in age they go back to the childhood they became like children they are not aware of what they are saying they are not aware of what they are doing because they lose their ability so you start as a child you end as a child and the muslim he's calling me liar whatever you can call whatever you want because you are following muhammad but you cannot answer what i'm saying Guys, did I did I prove everything I say today? Did I show it in the screen? So you say to me, I'm liar. Liar about what? Is it me who said that the first meal of the heaven is the whale liver? Is it me who says that if the father have sex and have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy? And if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl? I am the liar or your prophet. Uh, you know, uh, Muhammad, you are so happy to the point you are putting bombs at the end of your happiness. I mean, do you see how much happy you are? <laughs> I never saw Muslims are happy, a true Muslim. They go inside the mosque, they, are, they come out like they are so angry, unhappy, uncomfortable. So don't tell me I'm happy. You are actually saying that because you are in this ability. You could not answer anything about the stupid things your prophet said. So you say to yourself, 
I'm happy because I want to show them that I'm happy now. I'm not depressed. I'm not really feeling so bad because my prophet obviously is a scam. I want to say I am happy. Okay. Are you happy because you are following a lie? Is that true, Mr. Qasim? Is what your prophet said is true? Hmm. We have a gentleman, his name is Amran Abdullah. I don't know, he want to call, but I think we have done for today. You can call me tomorrow when I go live on air, Mr. Amran. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope that's people that, uh, no problem, he's a Muslim, he can call me tomorrow. I mean, we have all the time. We have tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after. As long as the Lord, he wants me to stay alive, I'm here. Until the Lord, he says, your time is up. I have a better place for you. Hello from Australia. Thank you, Jackie. You see, this is the beautiful thing about the Internet. We are able to meet people from around this earth. And glory to the Lord, we are able to use the tools which provided to us now for the best of mankind. Not long time ago, that was really impossible. So we are living in a time which is totally different from before. Right now, like I know like the number now is not too many. We have only like 770 because this is not my regular time to be live. But uh, uh, it's so beautiful to meet people around the world sharing knowledge, spreading the truth, and uh, in the same time, you do not know them. Very beautiful. And you do not know me. That's really amazing. What the Bible says, what you give with the right hand, don't the left, let the left hand know. And that make it more beautiful. And now, because of the internet, they cannot stop me from being heard in Saudi Arabia. Before, this was impossible. I can be heard, and there is people following me from Pakistan. Pakistan, not Pakistan. In Arabic, we don't have P. Pakistan, and this is how I say it in Arabic. And <clears throat> Indonesia, and Bangladesh, and Saudi Arabia. Who can stop? Nobody. Nobody. Even though, by the way, the YouTube they receive a lot of complaint from the Pakistani government and I showed you some emails of them I keep receiving emails from YouTube saying uh, a government uh, you know the first time I received it actually I thought this is USA and I was like what USA government complain about my videos imagine a country like Pakistan who have nukes they are worried that the Christian Prince he is a security issue. Can you believe it? Pakistan. What kind of country this country is? A guy in the internet. A guy in the internet is a threat to a country have nukes. Hey, my friend from Singapore. Philadelphia. Yeah, it's very beautiful to see people from around the world, and I'm really happy to meet you. Uh, you know, don't forget, uh, post a comment in the chat, in the text, not in the chat, sorry, in the, in the text later, and tell me if there is a question you like me or a topic you like me to talk about, and not necessarily about Islam. You know, we have a different channel, which is speaking about other things. It's called the quality of life, uh, or the quality of life. Uh, let me uh, show you the um, the other channel. <clears throat> and in this channel, we you know discuss many things. So I'm planning maybe I don't know tomorrow or the day after to go uh, live on air in that channel. Quality of life M twenty seven. 
uh, I will post a link for you if you like to join us there. There we discuss things that have nothing to do with the madness of Islam. We talk about things which is interested for us as a normal people. And still, we speak as a Christians, which mean always, always, even though the channel is open for everybody, it doesn't matter if you are a Christian or not. But for me, I always, uh, I try my best to go by the wise word of God, not by my wisdom, because there's no man really speak of his wisdom. At the end of the day, if you, if you stand alone in this life, you are a lonely person and you are a foolish person and you will pay for the consequence of your foolishness. So that is a section where we, let us say, we take, uh, uh, we take refuge away from uh, the madness of the cult of Islam. So we can just enjoy speaking about different stuff. We have already many videos there. And the last one, it's called How to Find Your Purpose in Life. Uh, watch it, uh, post your comment, and if you have a questions for me or a request to talk about a certain topic, uh, you know, I will be happy to talk about it. All right. So, and those who they are asking me, I said in that, in that, and not in the chat here, post your request in the comment later. I will read them. So, if you have a topic and want to talk about it, I will be happy. Or if the topic has nothing to do with Islam, you can post it here in this channel. And again, this is the link. Go there and subscribe, and you can leave your comment. All right. So, please talk. Why Pastor could killed himself? What does that mean? Why Pastor, a pastor could kill himself? Anyone understand what is that? Somebody's asking me why Pastor could kill himself. I. What is that? You made me dizzy, my friend. <laughs> Why pastor can kill? Could him? What is that? <laughs> Who is the pastor? Is killing himself? <laughs> In Christianity, is not permitted for anyone to kill himself. For this is a body is given to you by God. It's a gift of God. You have to return it as you receive it. This is why drugs, anything will harm your body. Is it is a crime against God? For you don't own your body. It's a gift given to you. You have to give it back. A pastor, he commits suicide in California. So what's our problem? He is just any, anyone. Muhammad, he commits suicide. Here we go. I am assuming maybe you are a Muslim saying, is it Muhammad he tried many times to commit suicide? By doing that, he disobeyed God and he is no pastor. Then he might end in hell. This is your prophet, my friend. He tried many times to commit suicide, but each time he tried to do it, and Jibreel, he come and he hold him from his panty and he said to him, please don't do it. You are a truly a prophet of Allah. Do you see it? The prophet became so sad, so he have, we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to the top of the mountains in order to throw himself, Jibreel would appear in front of him and say, Oh, Muhammad, you are indeed messenger of Allah. So he called down. So maybe this pastor is the same as your prophet. And what does this have to do with me? <laughs> and why are you are asking me about him? Who is this guy? I mean, who is like, is my family or something? I mean, people are silly. Eh, he have a problems. Maybe he's a scammer. Maybe he uh, he's afraid of a scandal. Maybe he is uh, ashamed of himself. Uh, maybe he is suffering from mental illness. I don't know. People they have issues. But what what does have to do with us? Just because he's a pastor, we have a prophet here, not a pastor. I feel sorry for his family. Whatever he did is wrong. Right? Zohri told us a rumor he heard hands. Hey, what rumor, man? Guys, rumor. This is rumor now. <laughs> Does it say rumor there? Does it say rumor? My friend, the only rumor here is you. Where it says rumor? 
Read carefully. Do you see, guys? Anyone see the word rumor? I mean, look how silly their answers. And if this is a rumor, why it is in the hadith? It's a rumor. This is called Sahih Bukhari Abdul, which means it's very authentic. So everything there must be authentic. And now suddenly Sahih Bukhari became a rumor. This is the religion of rumors. You cannot trust any Islamic resource because the most authentic books, according to the Muslims, Abdul now, it's full of rumors. Where the height of the scholar? Here we go. This is a scholar. There's no other hadith. Anything else is just a guessing. People like you, like you now, saying, trying to deny it, says, oh, this is a rumor, but it's in front of you. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Nowhere it says a rumor. So now you want to say, oh, this is a rumor? Eh, try to escape it. Rumor. Yeah, we will change the had we will change the name of Sahih Bukhari. We will be we will call it Sahih Rumor. Who is the guy who did this guy? He deserved to uh, to put his name in the banner. Sahih Rumor. Okay, we'll go. Sahih Rumor. You get it right. <laughs> and by the way, is the Quran saying that Allah created the earth before He created the stars? Is that a rumor in the Quran? Allah saying that he created the, the, the trees before the stars in one verse and he says the opposite in different verse is that a rumor oh, actually the Quran is the book of rumors too you cannot trust the Quran it is rumors everything in Islam is a rumor everything right so Sean is uh, Sean is a uh, 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 Zed, he agree. That's Zed. Thank you for agreeing. Uh, but even Sean, he is laughing too. Usually, he don't laugh. You see, guys, it will be really beautiful if I can meet you all of you and we have a dinner together. But um, the only worry I have, who is going to pay for it? Right now, today we have a small broadcast, not many, but we have seven hundred and twenty, and this is the small. So. Uh, you know what? I take my dinner invitation back. <laughs> it was a rumor. <laughs> it was not a true invitation. This is, was a rumor. Yes, it was a rumor. You heard nothing. The same as Muhammad, he received Quran as a sound of a bell. It was a rumor. Have you ever heard of a guy? He received Quran as a sound of a bell. And then the bell sound became Arabic. Like, tereden, tereden. How Muhammad he write those words from the bell sound to the Arabic? Brother, it was a rumor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. A rumor. Life is so for you. Hey, come on, Muhammad. Just don't call me. We are done for today. Anyway, guys, you can call me tomorrow, Muhammad. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. And uh, I will be uh, live on air again, I hope, tomorrow. But as I said, maybe maybe I will go in the other channel. Not sure. So don't forget to subscribe to the other channel, Quality of Life. And I'm posting the link for you. Uh, so you can be updated if we go live on air. All right, this is the channel you can click and subscribe and be sure that your notification is on. So if we decide to go there, we will be and the Muslims, they are will, will come to join us. But there we don't speak really about Islam. We talk about different stories. Stories have nothing to do with uh, stupid thing like Muhammad. So we take break from stupidity. Let us make it simple. We take break from stupidity. Uh, there's two two videos there actually I encourage you to watch them like the confidence how to be confidence because you know there's a big video on YouTube speaking about how to be confidence fooling you saying like if you hold a cigarette like this if you stand like that that's confident that's stupid so this is a video and the other one how to find your purpose in life and um, you know there is more other videos some of them are really important some of them is just sharing stuff so thank you people for being here May the Lord bless you all. 
and uh, for Indonesian people soon my book in Indonesian language will be out we just give it to somebody to read the book to be sure that there's no mistakes and after that based on uh, the reader I don't speak uh, uh, Indonesian as you know and then we will publish it soon in a few days just have patience I mean you will have it you will have it so thank you for being here may the Lord the Messiah the wise Lord guide your life keep you safe keep you healthy always 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 appreciate what you have for what you have is a priceless and you will not know how priceless it is until you lose it human being he always very arrogant very proud but a little tooth in your mouth will make you cry like a baby so appreciate even the little tooth in your mouth always live with appreciation and this is the key of happiness there is only one thing we should not appreciate evil and lies for they are one never appreciate a liar never appreciate someone teaching evil never appreciate someone divide us as a human making us kill each other we don't appreciate that we appreciate the one who says love your enemy and bless those who curse you for that will spread peace and love and earth and mercy we appreciate the one who says if somebody asks you for your coat give him your dress we appreciate the one who says I was thirsty I was hungry I was a prisoner and you took me in you feed me we appreciate the wise Lord and whatever he gave us it is wonderful gift and we hope to use it in the right way thank you for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again take care